But I am Dan Sibyl, a uh, singer, dancer, actor at all. And, uh, you know, I'm an actor most, most importantly. And many people ask me, people like you, people like you out there, lying naked with a half-drunk bottle of gin, crying. <laughs> Maybe not all of you are like that, just, just my friends. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm rambling. But what I wanted to say tonight was, people say to me, why do you do it? You know, why do you act? Why do you do it? You know, I, I've asked many of my friends that same question. I said to William Chatner, why do you do it, Willie? Why do you do it? And he said, I don't know. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know either. It's a, it's a punishment at the best of times. And at the worst of times, it's an absolute joy. Actually, reverse that, because that was wrong. It was a delight at the worst of times. I forget it. Never mind. I won't even bother. But Sean Connery said to me, I said, Sean, why do you do it? He said, well, I get to shag birds. And that's, <laughs> that's a good enough reason, I think. But, you know, what is acting? What does it mean? What is it? Lord Lawrence Olivier said it, it's like real life, only with little hats. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins once said, I like acting because I'm really tall on television. <laughs> but what is it? What is this craft? This thing we create on the stage each night? This empty space we fill with our dreams? Yes, it's a dream factory, certainly. People say, what is acting? I'll tell you what it is not. It is not caressing a pony with a long stick until it cries out and empties its bowels in the dust. It is not phoning up an old woman and saying, hmm, goodbye. It is not fuzzy little cats nipping at my nipples as I crawl through a vat of wild pig dust. No, it is not squatting naked in a pool of fun while children look on saying, are we going to be like that? <laughs> it's not climbing a mountain covered with lepers and they saying, oh, I'd love to climb up, but my leg fell off. No! <laughs> it's not that. It's that magical moment. That magical moment when you're out on stage and you're performing and the audience is loving it and you look out at their happy faces and you realize deep in your soul, I might just get laid tonight. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Don't let anyone tell you differently. And that's what you should be doing in your lives. I mean, whatever you're doing, if you're driving a cab, drive it fast and kill someone. Make it big. <laughs> get in the paper. Come on. If you're a man who scrapes wood off of old houses, you're an idiot. <laughs> Don't do that. It ruins the structural integrity. <laughs> you know, Many people say that I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, perhaps they're right. But I know that I'm happy. I've lived a wonderful life. And I'm delighted to have been here tonight. And I'll just leave you with this. Orson Welles, on his deathbed. I, uh, I went to see him. And he was already dead. I'd waited too long. <laughs> Lawrence Olivier died. I got there quick. I got in early. <laughs> and uh, I said to him, Ollie, what was it? Was it all worth it? What's the one thing you can impart to me now that you're at death's door? And he looked up at me and he said, Oh! <laughs> and he died. <laughs> so that's my advice to you. Never say, Oh! Because it's bad news.